Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to show you three ways how you can run uh, large language models using Hugging Face. So the first one would be to use the Hugging Face pipeline. The second one will be using Hugging Face Inference API. And the third one will be Llama CPP. And we include this with Longchain. And I'm gonna show you how that works. At first, I'm gonna use Google Colab here. So instead of running it locally on my machine, my device, I run it in Colab. You can do the same. You just need a Google account and then you can use this for free. And secondly, what you also need is a Hacking Face account that's also for free, but you need uh, your own token in order to use the Inference API, for instance. So um, for that, let me just install a few uh, packages and dependencies at the beginning. This is this, what you can see here. At first, I install Longchain because I'm going to use Longchain um, because Hugging Face is implemented in Longchain library. So it's really convenient to use it. So first install this one. And then also I install a few additional things like transformers, which I need for the pipeline. Also the ascendant transformers and bits and bytes because I need this for the configuration actually of the model itself and then Llama CPP Python. So install these dependencies first and then you just need to wait a little bit and then we can actually get start into the real code which is starting here. So first we import the dependencies here. So in this case the Hugging Face pipeline which is here the class from Langchain, then also Torch. And because we only use outer model for Causal, Causal LLM, <laughs> I need to spell it out correctly, and the tokenizer and the pipeline, and then the configuration itself. So then there is a configuration. This configuration itself, I think it is um, rather uh, basic. I mean, you can copy that probably from the internet and then use the same. You can play around with this a little bit, but most often it's actually like this, and I just also copied this. So I didn't configure this myself. I just used the default setting here. And uh, then, I need a model ID, which in this case here is this one. You can get this if you go to the model website and then search for text generation models on Hugging Face. So and then you can choose the model you want. I uh, just want to mention uh, in this case, I'm using here the 3 billion one. And this is, uh, well, um, easier to use because uh, the download time is uh, is faster. Um, otherwise, if you use really large models, you can do that. Uh, but then uh, you need to be aware of two things. At first, it takes a more time, of course, to download. And secondly, uh, depending on what kind of collab you use, in this case here, I'm using Google Colab for free. And this just means that, of course, the RAM and also CPU power is limited. So if you have the pro account for Google Colab, of course you can load larger models and use them. But if you just want to try it out, you can use also the, the Orca model here, the three billion in this case, and it works quite fast. It's around five gigabyte uh, for each of the shards and there are three shards you need to download. Then um, also you specify the tokenizer and the model, which is exactly the auto classes with here, auto tokenizer and auto model for Corsal LM from pre-trained and then we just give it the model ID, which is this one here and here the same, and also we add here the config, the config is here, this part in here. So you just uh, put it in here, and then we just instantiate the pipeline. So the pipeline itself, and then we say, what do we want to do? Well, we want to generate some text, right, with the language model, and then the model is the model, the tokenizer is the tokenizer, and then how much new tokens you want to generate. Of course, you can also add a large number here, I'm using a 350 in this case. Then uh, it starts downloading uh, the things, uh, the shards here, you can see here, the are three shards around, uh, this is five, this is five, and this is, okay, this is around four gigabyte, and that's in total, you need to wait for that. And uh, after that, of course, you can then instantiate the Hugging Face Pipeline class from uh, Langchain, and then just put in the pipeline itself, and then just ask your que question here with a query. In this case, I say list 10 great animes, and then very, very important now is the formatting. So if you go to the web, Hugging Face website, you find that for the model itself, um, if you read through the description, you find how actually should be the format for the prompt for the model in order to get the best results. Otherwise, you might get some unexpected results. So make sure that you take a look at this and then format your uh, prompt correctly. In this case, you can see this is my query, but I don't feed uh, this query to the uh, pipeline. Instead, I'm going to format this like this, as you can see here. The prompt formatted is, in this case, there's a system, then you specify what the system should do. In this case, it's an anime expert. And then I put here the user with the three hashes here, then there's a query. Then you can have an additional input if you want to give it some additional information. In this case, it's empty. And then finally, you need also three hashes in response. So this actually is the template you're gonna have. And here inside, you put in your query. And that is what you put then finally in the in the pipeline because the Orca model is expecting, uh, well, a query like this, a formatted query. And then you predict in here and you see that if I print the response, I get here the enemies and then there are a few enemies like this. 
in this case uh, like that there's also it stops at nine here as you can see the reason for this is simply because i set the max token to 350 and these are 350 tokens so if i set a larger number then of course it would also finish this one here the nine and then we'd all also figure out what is number 10 because that of course currently we don't know okay so that is the first option using the hugging face pipeline Again, the, the point here is that you need to download uh, the model weights. And this, of course, depending on the model size, will take some time. But th this is completely um, free. So you need the computer sources. But in this case, you don't need, even need a Hugging Face API token. The second option where you need to have a Hugging Face API token is if you do not want to download the model. So you say the model is too large or I don't want to download it. And you want to use the Inference API. This just means that you use a model which is hosted on Hugging Face and you download, uh, you do not download the weights. Uh, then uh, you need to make sure that the model is actually supporting the Inference API. What I mean by that is, for instance, the really large models, um, for instance, the new Mistral, uh, Mistral model, um, this, for instance, uh, the Inference API is turned off if you want to use it for free. Maybe you can use it. I'm currently not sure, but if you want to use it, then probably you have to pay for that. Uh, but there are also a lot of smaller models where the Inference API is free to use. Um, so all you need to do is, as I said, need a free um, token from Hugging Face, and then you can use the Inference API with these models. And then you just um, basically call, you send your query to Hugging Face Hub, and then on the Hub, there's the model. It runs the model on the Hub, and then it sends back the, the response. So you don't have to do anything locally. That's the point here. Um, so this will be doing with Longchain again, and you see I'm going to use Hugging Face Hub in this case, so not the pipeline, but the Hub itself for inference, and then also I specify here the get pass option, uh, simply because if I run this, I can put in my API token in here, and then uh, basically no one can see it, uh, what the token itself is. Um, so it's it's short because you should never uh, share your token for anyone, just by the way. Okay, so now we have uh, environment variable, which is hugging face API token. It needs to specify uh, this name, so that's the splitting name, because this is what the hugging face hub is then current, uh, searching for, this token. And uh, then you specify the repo ID. In this case, you can see here it's the CFIA model, because the CFIA model, in this case, the 7 billion, this has the inference API enabled, so you can use it. Again, if you want to figure out or search for a specific model, just go in the hub, search under text generation for various models, and if you click on the model, you'll see immediately on the right side whether it supports the inference API, so you can use it with Hugging Face Hub, like we do here, or whether the inference API is turned off. It, uh, it's specified there for each of the models. So then I again specify here a query, list five great enemies, and then I have here my prompt, in this case, SIP system, and then so on, so on, so on. And you can see that here for the C fear, it's a different format. As you can see here, I have system here in these um, pipe symbols and also with these um, HTML uh, tags, in this case, what this is, uh, whatever this is, and, and then you can see that that's how it looks like. So it's a little bit different, uh, but this is what the C fear model would expect. And again, uh, the specific format, you find this also on Hugging Face Hub for each of the models. So it, uh, you just need to read through and then you figure it out. So then um, there's a little warning message, but it doesn't matter. And here you can now uh, the, use the large language model and then you predict here with the formats and you get a response in here. And you can see that then it starts here. But here, for instance, you see that uh, either I'm not sure whether I had to specify maybe here the maximum amount of tokens to get a better result here. Um, or uh, maybe the inference API in this case was heavily used and that's why it uh, stopped here. I'm not sure about that. Um, I would suggest if you try this out, maybe if you do not get the perfect result the first time, try it a few times and see whether you get better results. Could be the case. But what you can clearly see that for inference API, there is no download here. We just sent uh, the request and when we get a response and you see that it starts with Attack on Titan and then Full Metal Alchemist. So obviously it um, recognizes our request and it sends uh, the correct data in here. So this is the second option. And the third option, which uh, is this case with the Llama CPP uh, from Langchain also on, on LLMs. And there, um, normally what you need to do is you first need to download the GGUF file um, first and uh, store it maybe, and then you can mount it with uh, Google Drive, for instance, if you want to use it in Colab. And then you specify here um, the model path to the file and the number of GPU layers you want to use if you have CUDA support and also then a few other parameters in here. And then you can uh, also ask a query and then uh, the query looks like that. Um, you can see here the system, user, and input, and response again, because here I'm trying uh, Orca model again, that's the format it needs, and then I just run it in here. And you can see it's still running. So obviously this takes, uh, right for me at least, a little bit more time, um, so I can't show you the results, but basically you can see that that's the structure on how it looks like. 
Okay, so uh, that would be the third option to run, um, in this case, a large language model um, from Hugging Face because the, the model itself, the GDUF file, can also be downloaded from Hugging Face. So that's it, actually. So these are three options we have in order to run those models. So again, it's the pipeline. The pipeline requires us to download the model. So um, depending on the internet connection and the size, of course, it might take a little more time. But this is completely on your hardware, the Hugging Face Hub. If you want to use the hub, then it is inference, which means you download nothing or we download nothing. But uh, then, of course, we need to send the data to the hub. And there we are uh, relying, if you want to use it for free, on the current um, well capacity, which the Hugging Face Hub is, um, is, uh, is available. Because, of course, everybody can use it. So it might be uh, there are little traffic hours, which is might difficult to... Uh, to use it, but uh, as I said, it would be free. And the third option would be the Slama CPP, but this would also require that you download uh, the GGUF file first. Of course, it's also free, but um, also, of course, you need to download it locally and then run it locally. And then, of course, whether you have uh, uh, CPU and GPU layers, um, then, of course, uh, you can specify this. Or if you do not have uh, NVIDIA uh, GPU and can't use CUDA, then you just uh, comment this, this line here out and run it. Okay, so that's it actually for this video. Hopefully that was interesting and you understood everything. If you've got questions, of course, feel free to ask. Uh, if you like it, please give this video a like and also please subscribe to the channel because this encouraged me to make even more videos for you. So thanks a lot, take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.